Hello everybody, it's Jay Brayson here with turn 32, I believe, of the game Chichen Mechas. So, research and challenge completed. Uh, we're all the way up to 5. Doesn't grant us too much at this level, other than Horde of Skeletons, but uh, next level is the big one. That's when we're going to get Arrow Fen, that's when we're going to have uh, access to Vile Babes as well, and our Pretender God. So, let's look at the battles. Uh, there's Battle of Narian Sea, where the Mine Lord was in fact in control. So, unlike in the base game, uh, in JBBM, the Mind Lords have a reasonably high level of Taskmaster, they've got plus three, uh, which is of a big help to uh, EA Rulia, because their troops normally have absolutely garbage morale. Um, so, it helps them to act more like mind controlled slaves and less like uh, mind controlled massive cowards who would just run away. Um, but yeah, the Asholol took care of it, no problem, and. Uh, there's nothing too much to talk about there. Uh, Wick Forest, um, we are probably going to have some minor problems taking. So the 103 boars are kind of a problem. Their morale isn't terribly good and their uh, MR is certainly low, but um, what we don't have is the Thaumatergy spells like uh, Syllable of Sleep, which would help to um, take the most advantage of their low MR. And um, as a result, we'll probably end up fighting them, but uh, it'll be a bit of a mess. Uh, we can probably route them reasonably quickly with only uh, 8 morale and the leaders involved not being terribly skilled, but um, it's certainly one to think about. Uh, long Dead Horse are going to be able to be banished out, that's uh, that's not going to be a big issue, But uh, and the Vine Men are more or less pointless, they're just going to be HP fodder really uh, for, the, um, for the oncoming battle, because these guys, these guys will take care of them, no problem really. Right, um... What else? So in Darkwoods, uh, we lost a bunch of Blood Slaves, which is unfortunate. And hordes of peasants left. So that's rather unfortunate, especially given we have luck in the province. But um, there we are. That's Dominion to 5 for you. So uh, we found an Enchanted Tomb over here. It's an extra de uh, Death Gem at a turn. We're up to 8, which is a relatively high amount. But uh, we're also at the point where um, uh, we don't have all that many still uh, in terms of death mages and um, I guess we've got a fair few with the quest chill as well but yeah and uh, there's not all that much game left so um, certainly one to think about. Uh, in terms of our research output uh, it's going to be two turns almost exactly until we're at enchantment 6. Um, I've repurposed a few blood hunters from that so for example uh, these three guys that had uh, SDRs they've been uh, put back onto researching instead. Uh, I've given an SDR to the um, hunter over here, and there is a hunter in this neck of the woods, I think in this province, yep, who also is now equipped with an SDR, but um, our income's not going to be too great. We are pretty past the point where pushing our dominion is super important. Um, we're going to take the throne of death and claim it, um, but uh, it's going to be about four turns until we hit the Desert of Visions. Uh, so in the meantime, basically my plan is to uh, get a couple of um, a couple more palm out. Basically, move these uh, cave grubs over. Um, this fort only has 150 um, uh, siege defense, so uh, we can. In fact, I may, I may start moving the troops over right now, um, so we can um, help to break through that almost instantly. Basically, using uh, using this guy. Do we have any magic leadership items? Doesn't look like it. What a shame. I'll give him the. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll leave him with this because um, it's probably won't make too much odds. Or will it? Sorry. I know this is. Uh, I guess once once we hit this province, um, it'll change to map move two over map move one. Uh, whereas if we were wearing the black steel plate, it'd be map move one still. I think. Right. Let's go. Anyway, so moving those guys over there, um, these uh, similarly are going to be about three turns away. So after two turns, uh, we'll probably go up, move, take this out, and uh, clear it. Um, between this throne, which we should take relatively easily, uh, this throne, which we're going to want the um, enchantment up for. 
uh, this throne, this throne, and this throne will have won the game. So uh, it's basically just a matter of um, seeing who pulls the trigger first. Um, I'm hiring another cloud priest. Uh, it's possibly unnecessary, but um, certainly is a comfortable thing to do, um, just to ensure that we have another cloud trapeze capable H3 mage. Uh, sending Anton Rayado using the Unquenchable Torch underwater. Uh, the level of PD in here is not going to completely protect us against events because, uh, as far as I know, it never does underwater. But uh, it does mean that between these guys and um, his own ability to cast all the skeletons, uh, we should be reasonably okay underwater um, for defending province, at least uh, long enough that he can uh, claim the throne, basically. Um, strategically, I can't see Red's big army with the Pretender God. Um, maybe they're back in Crimson Chichimeca and preparing to go to Relothia. Um, I have considered whether it would actually be wiser to go just underwater, but uh, it would take very slightly longer than going to 33 over here, and uh, so as a result I'm kind of minded not to. Um, we finally got an uh, E2 F1 mage, so I'm making a charcoal shield, uh, so he will be given, uh, the Asholo is going to be uh, given uh, Chuckle Shield as well, so he's going to have like a bunch of stacking defense. Basically, he's going to have um, Thunder Whip just for additional uh, shock attacks. He's got a Storm Spool for stunning anything that gets too close. His prot is relatively high now. Uh, we've got Liquid Body to answer his uh, varying temper flash. Uh, we've got Fear, we've got Air Shield, we've got uh, Resilience. He can cast um, uh, Regeneration, so we're up to 30% regen. And in general, looking um, relatively safe versus most troops, I would say. Uh, now, if we went straight through here, that would be three turns. But um, but it would basically tip uh, Jijimek three off that that was what we were going to do, and uh, it would tip him off before we got the chance to have um, uh, Arrow fend up for fighting over here. So that's why I'm not doing that, basically. Um, but yes. So I'm going to call the video here. Uh, I got a little chatty towards the end, I apologise for that, but um, we are in relatively good shape to win the game, I think, at this point, and uh, hopefully it'll be an enjoyable watch. Anyway, take care, and goodbye.